Welcome to this Context Capture Cloud Processing Console tutorial on how to export a reality mesh to Open Cities Planner. In this tutorial, you will learn how to produce a reality mesh in lottery format for Open Cities Planner. You will learn the right settings to be used for this production, and finally, how to upload the production to Open Cities Planner. Let's review the step-by-step -step operations. First, you will submit a new production selecting Open Cities Planner format. Then you will select a suitable special reference system for the production. You will download the Reality Data zip file on your computer. It's usually automatic. And finally, you will use Open Cities Planner Data Manager to upload the zip file and create your map dataset. In Contest Capture Cloud Processing Console, after the calibration step, submit a new reconstruction. In the format list, choose Open Cities Planner Lot Tree. To correctly use the production in Open Cities Planner, a projected coordinate system is required. To change the coordinate system, go to Edit Options and define a suitable one. Most projected coordinate systems, such as UTM zones, are supported. When everything is set, press Submit. Once the production is completed, you can open the Download Manager to download your outputs. Here we can see the Open Cities Panel Lottery output already downloaded, and you can locate it on your local machine by clicking on the Open Download folder. Let's now quickly review how to import your lottery format in Open Cities Planner. Logging to your instance of Open Cities Planner and go to the Data Manager. First, go to the Files tab to upload your lottery zip package. You can drag and drop the zip file for the upload. Once the upload is completed, select your file and create a source from this file. Change the name if needed and apply the right special reference system in the SRS field. In the type, select Reality Model and press Next. Select the input type, in our case it's a Lottery XML, and press Next. The files are being verified and you will be notified when they are ready to use. Once the files are verified, you can press Next. In the next page, you can define the bounding box and the clip for your reality mesh. Then press Next. And it is now completed. Press OK. Your new source has been created. You can now create a data set from the source. Here you can change the title, spatial reference system and bounding box. Press next and you're done. Press OK. Your map data set is now ready so you can go back to your project. You can now load your new map data set by going to backgrounds, map data sets, and selecting the one you've just created. Now in your project, you have the Bing 
terrain and Bing imagery background and your reality mesh imported. 